All right, just got all of my stuff ready for this little video over here. Oh man, this is gonna be fun. I'm telling you guys, this right here is gonna be a super fun video. You know why? <sighs> you guys probably can already tell by the title of this video. We over here, we have got a six inch Yep, heard me right. Six inch, which is about, what, 15, 16 centimeters. It's not just like any, like maybe, I don't know, like Brachypelma Smithy or something that's like six inches. No, 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 no. Whew, man, sorry. I'm a little bit tired right now. But this over here is a six inch, solid six inch King Baboon. Oh my freaking God. This is going to be fine. Now, before we start this video, before we unpack her, this will be her temporary enclosure because as you guys know, my new custom aquariums are not ready yet. So yeah, we're gonna have to get those ready first before we rehouse her into that. That will be a whole different video, but in today's video, we're gonna be rehousing her into this not so appealing enclosure. It's just a whole bunch of substrate in a tall enclosure. This is the tallest enclosure that I can find, but yeah, this is... This is heavy, yeah. This is what we're going to be rehousing her in. And I think I will give her a starter burrow first. So I'm just gonna dig in, see how deep that is. Yeah, I'm just gonna dig in and just, yeah, excavate a little bit out, something like this. Just pack it down, make it, sorry, it's the sun. Mm. Let me just pull this over here so there's no sun. Okay, I think I think that's better. I don't know, should I just close this door a little bit? No, that'll be a bit too dark, but it's okay. Just pack it down a little bit because I don't want the substrate to be too too loose. Okay, the sun is getting very, very glaring. I don't know. Maybe if I put it over here, it'll be better. How's that? Yeah, I think it'll be better. I'll just sit here to block the sun. Okay, so let's get this girl out and hopefully, oh man, hopefully she'll be good with us because king baboons, there's a reason why they're called kings. Yeah, I mean, what I can think of the reason is probably because they are mean and just the biggest of all the baboons. So, I mean, don't quote me on that, but that's what I think. Anyways, let's get this open. This is gonna be interesting. Thing. When I saw this on sale at a hundred dollars, yes, a hundred freaking dollars. That is cheap, man. My girlfriend bought hers for about hundred and seventy dollars. Yeah, this is hundred dollars, and oh boy, this is gonna be interesting. This opened, no threat posture, please. Oh my gosh, she is massive. Okay, I am nervous, and I'm in her bolting position, like I'm right here, and she is facing. You know what? Yeah, I think I should face it the other way around because the will not be good, man, if she decides to bolt. Oh, but usually king baboons, I don't think they really... Oh my gosh, she is massive. Look at that, you guys. She is... Oh my gosh! This is the second big... Can you hear that? Stridulating. Oh! Okay, girl. Calm down. Yo. Okay. Yo, she's massive, you guys. I want to see her compared to my hand. Look at that. She is absolutely massive. Yo, that is insane. And she seems to be very, very healthy as well. Look at that abdomen. Really cool. Very, very healthy girl. Yo, she's... Oh my gosh. Very, very angry girl. Listen to that stridulation. Whoa, okay, girl. Oh man. Oh, that fang. Did you see that? Oh my freaking god. Calm down, girl. Calm down. You're gonna get a, a better enclosure than this. This wasn't the enclosure she was in, by the way. They just sent me her in this thing, like just something to ship her in. Someone delivered her to me. I just went to collect her, so it wasn't an... an oh my gosh, it wasn't an unboxing. Yo, look at that, you guys. That is insane, man. <laughs> She doesn't allow me to get the paper towel out. Oh man, girl, you need to calm down, man. You need to calm down. Look at those fangs. Whoa! Yo, yo, I think this would be an awesome thumbnail. That right there, okay. She is mean. She is super mean. But the good thing is that she is not bolty. So what I can do is maybe I will. I don't need this catch cup to cup her. Whoa. Look at that. Oh my god. I, I just. This is amazing. I love King Baboon so much because they're so mean. Maybe I can just put her in something like this. I don't know. 
and maybe she can she can go in by herself. Will this be a good idea? I can still hear her. Oh my gosh. Okay, I've got a straw here, so maybe I can. You know, king baboons they make you a little bit more nervous compared to other tarantulas. So okay, okay. I've got the paper towel. I'll just put it over here because I don't want to mess the place up. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is going to be interesting. I've got a straw here and I'm going to be using the uh, tong to hold the straw because I do not want to get bit by her. Okay, so I'm going to be using it like this and try to... Come on girl. Go. Go. Be a good girl. Oh my gosh. Yo. Okay, come on. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Calm down. Yo, why are you biting the straw? Go down, go down. Come on, you got this girl. Oh! Okay. Super angry, my gosh. Yo, uh, you know what? Do you do you want your substrate in with you? I can give you your substrate if you want. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. But yeah, you can have your substrate. There we go. Oh, okay. I'll just spread your substrate around because this substrate is, from what I see, pure cocoa fiber, coconut fiber. Yeah, that's what it is. What my substrate is, is a mixture of coconut fiber, river sand, potting soil, charcoal, and all those stuff. So yeah, she's super angry, yo. Oh my gosh. But the good thing is she isn't like straight up attacking me. She is quite slow, but I wouldn't want to underestimate her because she is still a baboon and a king baboon. You know what? I'll just put the leaf in because why not? Yeah, because I mean king baboons, you just do not want to mess with them. <sighs> they're just they're just mean and awesome at the same time. So hey, hey, I'm giving you your substrate. Calm down. I'm not sure if you guys can actually hear her stridulating. But if you guys can, comment down, stridulating. You're gonna enjoy this enclosure. I mean, I'm not gonna enjoy how it looks like, but I'm pretty sure you're gonna enjoy it because it's deep for you to dig. The guy who sent her to me did mention that she loves to dig, so. Whew. All right, there's the comparison her to my hand. I'm not gonna put my hand any closer, but that is her size compared to my hand. Is that not amazing or what? Oh man, no. This was indeed a fun video, but thankfully she was actually handleable, manageable. Yeah, well manageable compared to my previous King Baboon. Man, that one was not manageable at all. I mean, it was, I mean, because I managed to manage her, but I mean, she wasn't like, I mean, this one, I would consider her to be more chill. Maybe because she's bigger, I don't know. I'm not sure what goes through a tarantula's head, but this, yo, look at her eyes, man. That is so freaking cool. All right, so man, all right. Right, guys that will be it for today's video i will be putting a water dish in but yeah later let her settle in first so yeah guys hope you enjoyed this video make sure you like it if you did you're free to dislike it i mean thumbs it down if you didn't like it but come on we've got an awesome king baboon better like this video <laughs> i'll see you guys in the next video make sure to subscribe if you haven't so yeah stay safe peace hey look who found her little pre-made burrow over there <laughs> Good girl. All right, and look at that. Oh, she's really starting to web up the place. That is cool, man. That is cool. So I've got the water dish over here. I'll just plop it right at the corner over here. Push it down. And of course, the sound so many of you guys have been waiting for. <laughs> Was that not awesome or what? All right, I just put it. Yeah, I just put water into the bottle just so I can do that for you guys. No worries. Peace. All right, it's currently raining outside as you can see, but I just want to give you a quick update on the King Baboon, what she has done so far in her enclosure. Let me just pull this thing out. So up here, she has just basically webbed up the plate and she is in here. So if you come around the corner over here, you can see that she is just chilling under the substrate over here. So pretty much she made a burrow, as you can see down here, and she sealed it off because I don't know, it looks like I'm going to have to dig it up in order to feed her. But I mean, whatever makes her happy, I guess. It'll be so cool if she makes her burrow like all the way. Let's see in the future.